מירי, I'm a student. Sorry, hi. Better? Yes. Uh, I'm a student at the college and I work at ARM and uh, I'm going to show a way how to create an include, a mapping of the includes in a project. Um, so uh, why I think this, is, this might be interesting, uh, first of all, in a big project, this can reveal uh, a bit of the design of the project, of the project. It can help expose uh, bi-directional includes or redundant includes, and um, it can, uh, it, you can get a better estimation of the effect that the change in an include in a header file will have on the project. Uh, the way I will present is by creating a, a plugin for the Clang compiler. Uh, so usually a plugin for the Clang compiler will have a, a class uh, implementing the plugin AST action, which is a, an abstract uh, class. It will have an event listener, which will react to the compiler events that interest us. This is where the main logic of the plugin will be. Uh, usually the listener will be of a type AST consumer, but in our case, because we are interested in uh, the includes, which is uh, related to the preprocessor, we will have to implement a listener of type PP callbacks. And finally, uh, the plugin will have to be registered in the uh, Clang's front-end plugin registry. This is the outline of, the, of creating the plugin. Um, well, this is the plugin, which implements, as I said, the plugin AST action, which has two pure virtual methods, which you must implement. And uh, there is the, the listener, which is of type EP callbacks, which will be added to the preprocessor. Uh, which uh, a, a class of Clang. Uh, the methods, uh, okay, so the listener uh, is, uh, implements uh, callback, callback functions that will be called uh, as the plugin, as the preprocessor uh, encounters the events that interest us. So uh, the first um, callback that we need to the main callback that we need to implement is file change. This uh, callback is being invoked every time that the preprocessor enters uh, a file and exits a file. Uh, the way to separate these two events is by the reason parameter, which is enter or, ex or exit. Basically what we will be doing is stacking up the, the file names that the preprocessor enters um, and as we enter a file, we put the, the file name at, at the top of the stack, and when we exit the file, we pop it out of, out of the stack. Uh, every time we enter a file, this is, it's basically included in the file which is at the top of, top of our stack. Um, so many times, uh, the preprocessor uh, Skips, skips files which uh, it doesn't need to visit uh, in, because of in, uh, reasons of optimization. So, uh, but we still want this information in our, um, in our uh, uh, output. So we will need to implement the file skip method as well. Um, we will, uh, this, the file which are skipped will be considered as entering them and exiting, exiting them at the same time. Uh, so if only those two, meta, those two callbacks will be implemented, we will get um, a lot of information which might be uh, not relevant for us because it will include um, the preprocessor visiting in system headers, which are a lot and are not relevant to our, uh, probably, it's too much information for us. So uh, we will, we can um, stop the, the not, not follow the include in the header, in the system headers. Um, this can be uh, left to our decision. Um, we, we can add a, uh, 
parameter for the plugin, an argument which will tell the plugin uh, go into the uh, system headers as well or uh, leave it on the first level. Uh, the way to identify the system headers is usually by a triangle uh, delimiter, which is on the inclusion directive itself, so on the string, on the actual string. So we will recognize these system headers and we can decide whether to continue our mapping inside them or leave them out of the mapping. And lastly, uh, we would like to save this information, obviously. Um, so right before the preprocessor finishes its work, uh, we will uh, write the, the information into a file at the end of the main file uh, callback. Uh, the information will be written in a hierarchy, often hierarchy. Um, files which are included in a file will be considered as the file's uh, children. Uh, one, one of the formats, uh, the format that I chose to write this information into a file is a format that can be read by graphics, which will uh, paint a beautiful graph of the includes. So I have in a, here a simple example, a very small program from a course I took uh, here at the college. 10 classes, uh, probably, the entire program. Uh, the painted nodes, the nodes in color are uh, my headers, uh, the user headers, and the nodes in white are the system headers. Um, as you can see, I chose not to go into the includes, into the files the system headers includes. Just to get, uh, the, this is a decision I made uh, after I saw this picture, <laughs> uh, which uh, is not too, not too informative. Um, so this is it.